Good morning students. Let us start with the next kind of microorganisms that are the viruses. Viruses are microorganisms, uh, sorry, microorganisms which are microscopic. That means they are visible only through a microscope and they are the most primitive organisms known to man. Primitive means the oldest. Okay. So these are the oldest organisms which are known to man. These viruses, they show the characteristic of living as well as non-living beings. See children, the viruses, they are actually non-living. As long as they are outside the host body, they are non-living. But as soon as they enter inside the host body, okay, they become living. That means they start obtaining the nourishment from the host cell. I hope children, you all remember what are host. Host means the organism from their obtaining uh, nourishment or food okay so viruses obtain the nourishment from their host cell that means they start using the host cells everything they start using nowadays you all are very well aware of the coronavirus okay the covid 19 disease is caused because of uh, coronavirus and you all know now very well about this coronavirus what do they do they attack these viruses usually attack the immunity system of human beings okay they attack the immunity system of the human being and then they start obtaining all the nourishment from the host cells and how uh, the virus uh, causes the disease is that uh, it can cause diseases in our body it enters our body as i told you now host cell it enters the body and it starts multiplying within the cells and it releases hundreds of viruses it uh, starts multiplying so fast that it releases hundreds of viruses now uh, our body children our body has got a defense mechanism you all must be knowing there is a defense mechanism in our body so what does the defense mechanism in our body do the defense mechanism of our body it produces a protein which is called as interferon okay interferon is a kind of a protein which is produced by the defense mechanism of our body and interferon what do they do they stop multiplying of virus and manifestation of diseases as flu common cold and hepatitis so whenever any virus enters our body our defense mechanism they start producing the protein called as interferon or you can say our body starts producing antibodies so that it can fight against the disease and when interferons are produced what do they do they these interferons stop the multiplication of viruses and when they stop the multiplying of viruses we get other smaller diseases like uh, manifestation of diseases like flu common cold and hepatitis so viruses whatever viruses we human beings know they all are harmful viruses okay unlike now we studied about other microorganisms like bacteria fungi protozoa they are, are harmful bacteria uh, also but they are useful also but viruses are all the known kinds of viruses are harmful okay so all known kinds of viruses are pathogenic that means pathogenic means they cause diseases and these cause diseases in plants animals human beings and what are the diseases caused by uh, in human beings they are polio chicken pox measles aids these all are caused by viruses then there are some diseases caused in tobacco plant okay in cattle you found find the foot and mouth disease in cattle so all these diseases can be especially in uh, the plants cabbage cauliflower mustard they are also usually infected by virus and how can you stop them you can stop them by spraying pesticides or by plowing what will plowing do plowing will uh, expose the soil to the sun and once it is exposed to the sun the viruses are killed okay some of the diseases that are caused by the virus can be prevented by getting vaccinated one of the disease which has been totally eradicated is smallpox which has been totally eradicated because of vaccination okay now here we have got some questions one of the question is how dengue and chikungunya diseases spread children the spelling see d e n g u e it is usually you all say dengue it's not dengue it's dengue 
okay dengue and chikungunya diseases are spread you all know by the mosquitoes okay mosquitoes are the ones who spread dengue and chikungunya why are infants and young children given vaccination do you know children why you all must have got vaccinated against many kinds of diseases when you were small why are vaccinations given to children and infants is do you know the reason the reason is that children or infants the immunity system just now i told you na we have got a defense mechanism in our body there is a defense mechanism or you can say a immunity system okay so in in infants and children do not have strong immunity system or the the def, uh, defense mechanism is not so strong so that is why we give them vaccination when you give vaccinations our body starts producing antibodies okay so that is why infants and young children are given vaccination now there is one more question given here why are plants not vaccinated against diseases have you ever uh, thought children that you all know that you all have heard that uh, human children or the infants young babies they are all given vaccination but why don't we give vaccination to the plants what is the reason the reason is that unlike human beings plants do not have an immune system okay just now i told you that we all human beings and animals they have got immunity system immune system or defense mechanism but plants do not have any immune system so that is why there is no vaccination for plants actually what happens you children do you know in vaccination what happens in when we get a vaccination uh, the vaccination is when you are getting a vaccination what happens is that our body or the immunity system it starts producing antibodies okay and the number of antibodies are produced slowly slowly and it increases and then whenever the next time we are getting the a kind of any kind of disease our antibodies will recognize that disease ओके okay? उसको पहचान लेता है हमारे एंटीबॉडीज जो है उस डिसीज को पहचान लेगा एंड इट विल स्टार्ट फाइटिंग अगेंस्ट दैट डिसीज सो दैट इज व्हाट वैक्सीनेशन इज डूइंग वैक्सीनेशन मींस एनी डिसीज फॉर एग्जांपल नाउ इफ यू टेक दिस डिसीज दैट इज द कोरोना वायरस ओके कोरोना वायरस आल्सो द वैक्सीनेशन इज डूइंग वॉट इज कोविशील्ड एंड ऑल डूइंग कोविशील्ड एंड कोवैक्सीन दे आर डूइंग द सेम थिंग वॉट आर दे एक्चुअली डूइंग इज दैट इन वैक्सीनेशन दे पुट द सेम वायरस ओके इन अ वेरी लेस क्वांटिटी द सेम वायरस इज बीन इंजेक्टेड इन टू अवर बॉडी इन अ लेस क्वांटिटी सो वॉट हैपन्स एज आई टोल्ड यू अवर बॉडी हैज गॉट अ डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म सो एज सुन एज दे सो दैट द डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म वेन दे सी दीज वायरसेस आवर बॉडी स्टार्ट प्रोड्यूसिंग एंटीबॉडीज ठीक है एंटीबॉडीज जैसे ही प्रोड्यूस होंगे तो क्या होगा वो बहुत सारे सेम वो इट स्टार्ट फाइटिंग अगेंस्ट दीज वायरसेस विच आर प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द वैक्सीनेशन एंड देन नेक्स्ट टाइम व्हेन यू आर अटैक्ड बाय द सेम वायरस द एंटीबॉडीज रिकॉग्नाइज दैट वायरस कि अरे ये तो पहले हमारे बॉडी में आ चुका है सो दे विल स्टार्ट फाइटिंग इन अ डबल अमाउंट okay so this is what actually vaccination is doing whenever we are vaccinating our body starts creating antibody so that in the future if we get the same disease we can very easily our body can tolerate so this is what a vaccination does i hope children that this much is clear to all of you the rest we will continue in the next video thank you and take care